Yes! Hello, it is I, the most revered, most learned Dr. Tom, here to educate the masses about the grappling that men and women perform for entertainment purposes. And I was invited to this Hobo's hovel with dirty stained clothes, pillows on the floor. What kind of mess was the state of dishevelment? This Hobo Tom, disgusting individual. If I did not know him on a personal basis, I would have never have agreed to do this for him. But again, it is that time of year again. It's the summertime. It's the time past the summer solstice where we partake in various festivals that engage in feats of strength and of endurance. One of those festivals being that coming up on Sunday, which said Hobo will be a mediator of is Slammiversary by Impact Wrestling, a most noticeable organization known for their high quality of wrestling and character. So let's start off on, on the card. Again, I can be rated in several ways by determining how many matches I choose correctly. For once I was inside, I was working in partnership with one John Paul Levesque, or also known as Paul Levesque, or to you plebeians, Hunter Hurst Helmsley, or to you truly disgusting, vile people, Triple H. Ugh, I cannot stand the scent of the commoner. Ugh. Let's start off, probably. One of the matches is going to be Samuel Callahan versus a second generation wrestler, that of Tessa Blanchard. It's my cap. It's falling off my head for this hobo. I don't know how he lives with such poor circulation systems. But so we have Samuel Callahan versus Tessa Blanchard. Hmm. Tessa Blanchard shall prevail for her father's teachings. Shall come back and she'll become educated and realize all of the wisdom and knowledge of various submission holds and joint locks that her father taught her. Shall Prevail versus the this ruffian of Sammy Callahan. The next we have a fatal a monster's ball. We have Jessica Havoc versus Kyle Valkyrie, descendant of the of the Valkyries from Norse mythology. This is the demon assassin, the self Rosemary, and the undead bridesmaid. It's terrifying. The undead bride, Su Young. In this event, it is a monstrous ball. And Taya Valkyrie does not necessarily have to to be pinned or submitted to lose her championship. Therefore, Jessica Havoc shall be victorious. Let me mark this so that the that, that, that hobo knows exactly what my intentions are. So we have Tessa Blanchard and Jessica Havoc. Then, oh, the most vile match. We have LAX versus the Rascals. 
obviously the rascals are impeded by their continuation of illicit drug use in, in, in a treehouse, violating the sanctity of a child's play area with that foul smelling smoke. Or at least LAX is a clubhouse? It's definitely not a gentleman's club where you drink of the finest brandy from Crystal Snifters and partake the elegant aroma of pure Havana tobacco products. Not so much. In this, the rascal shall be victorious. Mainly because of the undoing and the debauchery that LAX has done. Next, we have this person who declares himself. And forgive me if I do these justice incorrectly, but he is the whole effing show. Robert Van Dam versus it's a bestiality match. Who is this moose? A moose is a hoofed animal that lives certain latitudes in various parts of the world, such as Siberia, Canada, Alaska, northern parts of the United States. Is he fighting a moose? So therefore, Robert Van Dam, with all of his training in the martial arts, shall be victorious. And that, however, he is fighting said beast. This would be time that I take my nap. This is going to be the snooze match of the evening. I forgot to mention this. I was most distraught by taking a look at these notes and being in this hovel. But Sammy Callahan versus Tessa Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard, I did predict to be victorious. That is going to be my stone cold walk. Then we have. Richard Swan versus Johnny Impact for the X Division title. And because Johnny Impact carries this ridiculously sized red X, and he has the enlisted help of the one Johnny Bravo and his bride, impeccable. Virtues. Yes. Ty of Valkyrie. Johnny Impact shall be victorious. However, because of the high flying ability of both of these individuals, this shall be the match of the night. We shall see how that outcome plays itself for. The world is a stage, and we are but players, the grandest of all plays, so saith the bard. And then in the main event of the evening festivities, we have the machine, Mahina X Deus, Brian Cage, in this particular case, Mahina or Deus ex Mahina versus Big Mike Elgin, a bruiser in the properest form. 
Mike Elgin shall be victorious for a number of reasons. One, Mr. Cage has been recently married. And to that I offer my sincerest congratulations to you, kind sir. And I wish your bride every happiness that she may experience. So he shall need some time off, again, for some marital affairs. Therefore, Michael Elgin shall be victorious, allowing Brian Cage to rest his physically broken body and enjoy the loveliness of his wife. And that's all for Slamiversary. Again, I would like to thank everyone for watching these predictions. And please have a fun and enjoyable and safe 4th of July. Well, I believe the hobo talked about building a ring out of soccer balls and finding cardboard and rope. This would be something to do with his side endeavor of the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League Wrestling.